Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Celebrity Cars. 1984 Land Rover Defender 110. Dark green. We got another one, folks. We had one of these not that long ago. Sold it really fast. But uh, here we are in green again. This one has a 3.5 liter motor in it. Uh, it's an Arconic build. It's got just under 3,000 uh, miles on its build. 1984. How about that, huh? Yeah, Arconic is a company over in England, and they redo these things. And they put better motors in them, make them look really cool. Welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas, halfway between Summerlin, Nevada, and Henderson, Nevada. Uh, we've got lots of cars over there and for sale. We've got muscle cars and Ferraris and antique cars and classic cars. I just got out of a Packard. Anyway, we're selling this one today. You clicked on it. You want to learn about it. Well, what I'm doing here, I'm your living, breathing condition report, okay? What does that mean? Well, you're going to have to kind of trust me a little bit, okay? I'm going to go over, in case you don't want to leave the house, uh, you live in the, uh, over the pond, uh, you've got no interest in coming over here, you want a new toy, and you want somebody to take a look at it. Well, that's what I'm doing here, okay? I'm going to go over the condition of the paint. We're going to try and look underneath it because it's pretty high off the ground. We're not going to put it up on a lift or anything. But you get to see underneath it, kind of, sort of, uh, we'll, we'll manipulate the vehicle later on so we can get a good look at underneath it. Uh, we're going to go for a quick drive in it. And we're going to look in the interior. We're going to look at the motor. We're going to look at everything, okay? And I'm going to give you my two cents. If there's a scratch, I'm going to let you know. Um, if there's rust, I'm going to let you know. If there's a dent, I'm going to let you know. So those things you kind of sort of don't have to worry about. Um, I'm, I'm outside today. It's a beautiful day. Um, we've got a lot going on in the showroom today, so we're going, to, we're going to handle this from out here. So this is how we do it, all right? I already know that you're interested in it because you wouldn't be watching this video. So I start at the nose, and we're going to work our way down the passenger side. I'm going to flip the car around so you can see it better and so on and so forth. The camera is uh, the big friend today, though. Okay, with this particular model. Uh, I noticed when I parked it here that the detailing job could have been done a little bit better. There's some missed spots, uh, but I'll point them out to you and you'll understand and, and know that you know it is beautiful green. It's all one color. Uh, there are no surprises here. Uh, I haven't seen any major chunks or anything like that taken out of it, but it's got a couple scratches, got a little bit of wear. It's got 3,000 miles on it and it's a Land Rover Defender. So you're gonna you know, pl be playing with something like this. Okay, let's look at the front nose. Water marks down here. All these things can easily be taken off. But uh, what you want to know uh, there on the other side of the film is uh, what kind of shape is it up here? Well, everything's, everything's all in one piece. Um, this black bumper is in great shape. It has a little discoloring from some wear. Um, you know, what you see on the camera is, is what it is. It's not terrible. Um, I, uh, I see a couple, uh, there's, there's, what you would think would be dents in these 110s, but they're not really, they're more rivets and stuff. So um, there's a couple rivets across here, uh, but it's all, it's all beautiful green paint all the way across. The, uh, the, the covers around the headlights are all in good shape. Uh, there's maybe a couple little itty bitty wears from driving this thing down the highway. Um, but other than that, there's no large chunks taken out of here. Once, I, oh, once again, you see all the stuff down here. I'll yell at my detailer later. Um, but uh, looking underneath the front of, of this guy, it all looks, uh, you know, kind of sort of uh, 1984 meets uh, built a couple years ago. Um, it's not so bad down there. I see some wear. It's not awful, but uh, it's not perfect either. Once again, people have been driving this thing around. Okay, uh, up here on the hood. <sighs> Although we've been outside for about 15, 20 minutes with this, it already has dust on it. Welcome to Las Vegas. So what you're looking at here really is one big sheet of beautiful uh, metal with uh, some really shiny green paint on it. It's got a nice sparkle to it in the sunlight. Um, uh, I, I'm not gonna pick apart the paint. Um, it's got really light from just, uh, you know, microfiber towels uh, of scratches in it, but you know, you got your fancy wheel. Uh, and polish at home, you're gonna get every one of these out. It'll, it'll look beautiful, okay? Um, all along here, all this metal is all in great shape all the way across. Uh, uh, once again, we have some detailing issues in here, but you can, you, you get it. Uh, the windshield is in fabulous shape. Um, I don't know if this re was replaced back in the day when this was redone or not, 
but uh, regardless, it's pretty much perfect. I see everything looks really nice. And up top, we'll get the, the, uh, the extra fog lights and such, uh, search lights up top, and they all uh, seem to be in uh, pretty good condition. Okay, uh, come on over here. We're gonna work our way down the passenger side. Now, if you look over, uh, we're gonna let the camera do some work. I've got a little bit of wax in some of these crevices here, but uh, this is the kind of thing that I'm here for. See these little scratches? I'm not sure if your detailer is gonna get them out or not, okay? Um, I think he can. I think he can, but I'm not positive. So there's a couple little scratches right there. Okay, once again, we got some wax, uh, but folks, man, come on now. It's beautiful green paint. This is beautiful. The one that we had before that had the big V8 in it had a lot more rivet bumps in it. It was uh, somewhat annoying to see. Uh, this one is much less rivet bumps. Um, I see a lot more smoother uh, paint up and down the sides of the car. I don't see multiple uh, indentations from the rivets, rivets. So for what that's worth, okay? Um, uh, the glass along this uh, passenger side here all looks terrific. The, the, uh, the, the rubber, again, we have some detailing issues. Don't be scared of any of these things. This is all really, really in nice shape. The hardware up here all looks good. Yep. Just some detailing issues, some detailing issues. This is all good. All of this is good, folks. The passenger side of the car looks terrific. The wheels, we didn't talk about the wheels. The wheels are these neato looking uh, five-star mag kind of things. Um, um, let's see, I think these were, uh, there's a lot of extra uh, grease and stuff back there behind uh, the wheels that didn't get cleaned up. Um, but other than that, they, they, they really shine up nice. The tires seem to be good. If I'm not really sure if the camera can see in these cavities here, but all that looks pretty darn nice and clean. Um, your mud flaps, your step down here. Um, what do you say? We try and uh, bring that camera down and do a little look-see from this angle. I'll get out of your way so you can see. If you could get up in more of the center of underneath. Yeah, let's do that real quick. So you see it's, uh, you know, did a little bit of mud and maybe been in a little rainstorm. But other than that, I mean, it seems all very solid, folks. It's just a little dirty, okay? Don't be discouraged. It's a very nice vehicle. I'm down here on the ground looking at it for you, okay? All right, and this piece all the way down here along the bottom, too, this is nice and black. It's got a little bit of wear to it, but I, I think, uh, I, I think it's, you know, it just needs to be shined up by a, a professional. Okay, uh, coming around the back of the car, you know what? Give me one second, we're gonna break and I'm gonna spin this around. And voila. Okay, back over here to the driver's side. So we've already looked at the front nose. Uh, we get a good look down here at this angle of the hood and the paint. You see it all very shiny. Got some really nice light sparkle in the green paint. It's really pretty. All this is in great shape. All still looks good, all looks good, okay. And we're back down here to the uh, driver's side. We still have some wax issues uh, hidden in these creases right here. I'm going to grab a hold of this and shake it a little bit so you can see this is very firm stuff here. Okay, Arconic makes really nice stuff. Uh, in the wheel well here, all this looks really, really nice and clean. The wheel, uh, all four wheels, uh, I, I kind of jumped off of that earlier. Uh, they have a slight wear to all four wheels. These are nice five-star wheels. Uh, but they have slight wear to each one of the wheels. But as you can see on camera, they're nice and black. The tires are looking in good shape. I don't have any scuffs along here or anything like that. I, I am checking those things, folks. I'm, 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 not, I'm not skipping over any big chunks or anything like that. I'm really looking out for all of them. Again, we have some detailing issues. Uh, but all of this, all the way down. Um, if there's, if there's any scratches in it, they're so fine that I can't see them, and then absolutely your detailer would be able to handle them. The moldings around all the glass looks good. The window tint looks good, just like the other side. The molding looks great around this one. The glass is in perfect shape. Uh, the, your back rear quarter panel here all looks terrific. All one colored paint, not different variations because it was painted later or anything like that. This is all one solid piece of paint. and. Gosh, guys, it's just, it's, uh, it's pretty darn awesome. I mean, I really want to grab a rag and do some extra detailing, but, you know. 
I'm going to leave that up to you. So come on into the back here. We've gotten ourselves all the way around the ride. Got another really cool little ladder here to climb up on the roof. I have this opened up. It opened very nicely. It's very solid, very uh, heavy, if you will. Uh, uh, it's solid. Feels good. You know what I mean. Come on in. Again, aside from some detailing issues, we're going to go with kind of slow here because of the camera work. But it's beautiful in there, folks. Got black leather, some black carpet. Black uh, protecting piece down here on the floor. Uh, extra steering wheel. Uh, space. Check out the uh, headliner. Pretty darn neat. Looks like suede up there. Nice job. Actually, as you can see up front, the headliner seems to be separating just a little bit from the center. Um, it's not uh, real nice and tight there around the middle, but I'm pretty sure that that's somewhat of an easy fix. There you have it in the back, folks. It looks pretty darn cool. I'm gonna close this up. Hear how nice and solid that is? Well, there you have it. We've walked around the outside. I'm not gonna climb up on the roof. I'm pretty sure it looks pretty darn nice up there, but let's look, in this, let's look inside. I'm gonna open up some doors. Again, we'll have a little bit of lighting issue here, but hey, this uh, 1984 Defender, uh, you know, it was only a couple years ago that this job was done and uh, it barely looks used inside. Uh, the seats are all in great shape. There's no hidden stains. Um, everything's adjustable. There's a lot of uh, today's technology in here with the, with the radio set up. Um, you know, you've got your Bluetooth and um, I'm not sure if it has navigation or not, but uh, your phone can handle those things these days. But uh, it seems everything works. It runs really good. We're going to go for a ride later, but I mean, look, look at it. It's beautiful. I'm going to hop in real quick, see if I see anything else extra to point out. Um, this chrome piece down here has a, some abrasions from getting in and out, just from normal shoes and stuff like that. You see those lines right there. Most of the time you get a good polish out and it'll clean that stuff right up. I see extra speakers down here. Um, uh, the stick shift is really, really cool. You can go to celebritycars.com and see photographs up close of these things. Uh, we can't always get all of it really nice on camera, so um, uh, with the uh, lighting and so on and so forth. So you can see all this stuff really close up in the photos at celebritycars.com. Go to uh, Land Rover and you can find this one in our listing. But other than that, this is all very tastefully done. There's not a bunch of crap thrown all over the place, extra stickers or anything like that. Um, the radio is, uh, uh, it fits in here perfect. Uh, I'm not really familiar with uh, Land Rovers a whole lot, but I do know that this is, there you go. I found the word I'm looking for. The word is clean. It's a very, very clean, uh, very nice interior. You can smell the leather as if it were done yesterday. And it's, uh, it's, it's really nice. 2,913 miles on this 1984 Arconic build, okay? All right, uh, I'm looking up at the moonroof here. Pretty cool, it's got extra little dials to turn it up to variate uh, how much wind you want to get in. Again, uh, here is your headliner. The headliner, although it looked like it was separating, it feels pretty good. Um, it's not anything I would really uh, concern myself with at all. Really nice floor mats down here to protect the floor. Let's look underneath it really quick. Then you can see that beautiful black carpet almost looks like it was done yesterday so there you have it okay now let's take a look at the engine i don't think we need to move the car around i think we're going to be able to see the engine just fine you got to go over to the passenger side in order to pop the engine very easy to get in here how are we doing with light there? We see pretty good? Cool. 
There's your 3.5 liter in there. Once again, it's very clean. The detailers did a pretty good job in here. It looks pretty nice. But once again, you can also go to celebritycars.com just in case you fast forwarded to this point because you wanted to see what power plant was in it. And uh, you can see photographs, uh, high, highly detailed photographs of what all is going on in here if the light's messing with your head right now. Why don't you stay right there and I'm going to start it real quick. This seems to be one of those motors that you might want to just hear starting up. So I'm happy to do that. Got a really, really, really nice sound to it. It sounds like a Range Rover. <laughs> it sounds like a very, very healthy Range Rover. Uh, come on over here just a second. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you, share with you one more thing. Let me watch these gauges go when I start the car up <clears throat> and this radio. So if you can just get all of this in here at once. So I turn the key. And gas gauge works good, starts, you know, fires right up, goes over to a quarter of a tank, and then look at the radio, comes out to greet you. Bluetooth says no service, but you can get that up and running. So really neato technology going on in here. I'm glad I hopped in here and started this. We've only had this running for about a minute, uh, maybe a, t a total of uh, 90 seconds since we've gotten it out today. So we don't really have a whole lot of temperature going on. Volts are in good shape, so on and so forth. So got nothing to worry about as far as the mechanics are concerned okay well there we go we've seen the engine compartment we didn't climb all around the interior but you're going to go to celebritycars.com and see those photographs okay uh, notice the door didn't close all the way don't be scared it was because it was built right airtight you got to give it a little more of a shove well what do you say we go for a ride how about that Okay, well, we just finished filming the outside of this uh, uh, Land Rover Defender 110 in green, okay? That's 1984. So, uh, I just shut it off because I wanted to start things up again, uh, getting you guys in here. I, m I moved it over and, and got it going. Okay, so uh, it's off. Um, my, the clutch is in. I'm going to turn the key. How nice and smooth that is. Now, I also wanted to start it with this uh, air conditioning system on. It's blowing nice and cold. Uh, believe it or not, it's about 73 degrees uh, here in Las Vegas today in the middle of February. Uh, and I need to turn the air conditioner on, so it's perfect. Uh, runs great, no, no uh, drag on the motor. <clears throat> My clutch is in, I'm gonna engage first gear. And let's go for a quick ride, what do you say? There's nothing wrong with this car, folks. It's wonderful. It's first gear. Second gear. Give it a little gas. And third. And fourth. Now, I'm doing about 40 miles an hour. I'm gonna hit the brakes real good. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, brakes. Board straight, no wobble in my foot whatsoever. Uh, can't get any better. Okay, clutch is out, first gear. Here we go, air conditioning is blowing nice and cold. Temperature gauge is perfect. Super smooth. The, uh, this must be power steering because it's entirely too easy to move this steering wheel around. It is also uh, very easy to find the gears. Um, you know, I, I own a manual transmission car. Um, I've driven lots of other manuals. You kind of flub around finding the gears. You would think in a 1984 you'd have issues. No, no issues. This is awesome. 
Board straight. Right, right turn signals on. I'm gonna downshift into third. Happened very nicely. Downshift into second. Happened very, very nicely. Back in, on the gas in second gear. Awesome. That's all you need to know. That was the clutch pedal popping out. My foot's back on the brake, clutch is in. Ah, uh, you just, uh, uh, I've, I've got nothing to say. I'm not gonna play with the radio. You can call us, you can ask us questions about the radio. The air conditioning, you don't need to call us and ask if it's, if it's got air conditioning, it's wonderful. I'm not gonna play with high, low, and lock, and all wheel drive. You can call us about that. Uh, but other than that, man, this is, this is, this is a beautiful, beautiful ride. Uh, a, a hair underpowered, okay? Um, um, it gets out of its own way, uh, but you do wish there was a little bit more power. But other than that, I mean, you, you can't ask for a better smoothing, smooth driving. If you're not gonna do a whole lot of race car stuff and you don't need to beat your buddy in the next door in the Mustang, this is just a wonderful, wonderful cruiser for the family, for the kids, and transporting stuff around. You got any questions though, give us a call, 702-818-1031. Other than that, uh, you should buy this. It's really pretty.